carbon tax in South Africa is the wrong instrument. And I think that we don't need to confuse the fact that carbon tax in itself is a fantastic instrument for pricing carbon. Both methods that the DEA and the National Treasury are doing are methods to price carbon. One puts a cap on emission and the market determines the price of those, uh, of those emissions. And two, or you just put an explicit price out there and the market then determines the, the emissions cap. The reason that carbon tax won't work, but an emissions cap will work in the country, we believe, is two things. One, 60% of the emissions in the country come from ESKIM, which is a regulated entity. And the way to change ESKIM's energy mix is not through a carbon tax, it's through the IRP. So government can decree tomorrow that no more coal stations will be built and nuclear or renewables will be built. Um, it doesn't need an artificial price to make the model select different, uh, different options. In fact, what our modeling has shown, that even if you introduce the carbon tax at the levels that it is, the, the traditional models will continue to, to, to pick coal generation because the carbon price needs to be significantly high, much, much higher than Treasury's mooted, for it even to make a, a slight difference. Obviously, that has a number of negative impacts. One, uh, our competitive advantage at the industrial level will be significantly affected and we'll have carbon leakage. In other words, organisations that are um, heavily carbon dependent or electricity dependent will move to, to jurisdictions that don't have an onerous thing. And the reality of the situation, being the carbon environment, is that we will then still suffer the consequences of climate change.